The more subscribers you get, the stronger your email campaign will be. However, in order to get more subscribers, you have to have an effective opt-in form. My name is Leslie Samuel, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to make an effective opt-in form to get more email subscribers. Now, before we go into what makes an opt-in form effective, let's take a minute and talk about goals. Uh, if you're someone that's creating content to help your audience, you wanna make sure that you have a compelling offer to get people onto your email list. What makes an offer compelling? Well, it needs to be a solution to a well-defined specific problem that your potential subscribers are facing. So, I want you to start by answering uh, th these questions. First off, who is your ideal subscriber? And then, what is she trying to accomplish? In other words, what is her goal? Third, what struggles will she have to overcome in order to accomplish her goal? And lastly, what simple resource can you create to help her overcome her struggles and reach her goal? So, once you've answered that last question, you know exactly what you can create. It can be something as simple as a one-page PDF with your top five tips to do X, Y, Z. It could be an ebook, a course. Uh, I encourage you to start with something simple and then you can expand from there. Um, so, now that you have your free resource, it's time to create an opt-in form that gets people to subscribe. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have a strong headline. Place yourself in the mind of someone that's in your ideal target audience. What are they struggling with that your free resource can help them to overcome? Are they trying to lose 10 pounds? Are they struggling to build a business with a blog? Do they need help passing their biology exam? What is the pain that you are addressing with that awesome free resource that you created? That is what you wanna use as your headline. And now, since you have a strong headline, it's time to work on the second part, the rest of the copy. The ideal copy will have the following three elements. It will propose a solution to the problem, provide social proof, and set some basic expectations. For example, you might say something like, join over 13,000 other bloggers who have received my 10-hour blogging business blueprint and get my daily updates via email. The solution? It's, it's the 10-hour blogging business blueprint. The social proof is the fact that over 13,000 other bloggers have gotten the blueprint, and the expectation that you're setting is that they will receive daily email updates. Now, the third aspect of your opt-in form that you can do some testing with has to do with the visuals. Um, you can choose to include or not to include a cover graphic of your free gift. Uh, you can experiment with using different colors to see what works best. And lastly, you can even experiment with the style of the sign up button. Try to find a combination that works well for you and for your blog. And you're on your way to having a form that gets leads. So let's recap. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have a free incentive that helps your audience accomplish a specific goal or overcome a specific struggle. Then you wanna create a headline that addresses their struggle. And then you wanna use copy that provides a solution gives social proof, and sets expectations. And lastly, feel free to experiment with the visual elements of your opt-in form. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you got a ton of value from it. My name is Leslie Samuel, and I wish you all the best on your blogging journey.